this is where I'll show you how you can create this um, UEFN stat system or currency or whatever you can use for wins for coins and it's very easy to set up and this is code it's not a lot and this is just to increase the coins and to actually create the stats we'll use the stat creator device which is also not uh, hard to set up and along with a widget blueprint so what you first want to do is grab the stat creator device and this is what we'll use to display the statistics so i'll just name this coins doesn't matter what you name it and then the scope i'll set it to player so each player will have their own value enabled face set to always stack just you can change it but it doesn't matter uh, stat bar shown on hot set it to yes user widget will change this later and the show widget in list you actually have two options for this so if you uh, set it to show widget and list your widget blueprints will get displayed on top of each other so uh, they'll automatically display on the bottom left corner and it will be well i can show it so if this is your your fortnite screen then you'll have one stat here one stat here one stat here and they'll automatically stack on top of each other if you set it to list but if you don't set it to list you can uh, do it custom in the widget blueprint and you can set it to the top right or right here to whatever you want so i'll show that first so i'll not put it in a list and use persistence you can set it on so if they leave and come back they'll have the same amount of wins coins etc so then I'll go into my folder, right click, user interface and click on widget blueprint. Select the user widget and I'll name it coins blueprint. You want to track a canvas panel. So this will be your Fortnite screen. And so if something is uh, in the top left of here, it will be the top left of the Fortnite screen. Same goes for the bottom right. So I want to drag an overlay in here and another overlay in the first one, like so. Then I'll display my uh, my coins that I have on the top right. So I'll put the anchor to the top right. Position X and position Y, want to make sure they are both zero. And if you want to change the alignment, use this one. But I'll first change the size. Put it like this and then the alignment like so so it'll display right here on the fortnite screen it might not be perfect when you try in game so you might want to fiddle fiddle around with this then the second overlay you want to set it to fill and fill so it'll match the uh, size of the first overlay and then you want to import this image i'll post it in discord you can uh, of course use your own images you want to open the blueprint and in the overlay you want to add a image make sure it's in the overlay like this and then just search for the currency or whatever you have so it'll display like this then you want to add a skill box also inside the overlay Set to fill and fill. And then you want to add the padding. So I'll do like 50, not more. 100. So my coins will be displayed inside of this box. So I want to make sure that it's like this. So for example, if I add the text block in here, it will scale accordingly. So if I add some like padding it will also change the size of the text this and also 20 from the right and 10 from the bottom so if the value in here changes to a bigger number it will also make the text smaller so i'll add some outlines let's go into the outline settings maybe a bit bigger two 
Yes, this is good. Like so. Maybe I'll center it a bit more. Like this. Okay, this should do. You want to compile this and save it. You want to go back into the set creator and for the user widget, select the coins blueprint that you just made. Then to actually change this value, you can do it in verse and it's not very hard. So I'll show you how to do it. I'll do the currency changer and I'll create a script. So open this in Visual Studio. You can remove this green text. And I'll just leave this so it doesn't give an error. But I want to add the editable, so I'll use the editable and I'll make make coins. Create a device. Make sure you add these accolades. And also add a button. You can use a trigger to increase it or decrease it, but I'll just use a button. So this is a button device. And then in here, I'll make a, a line that listens for someone pressing the button. So if you're ever unsure of what you can do with the devices, you want to right click and go to uh, go to definition. And then it'll show the button device in the digest. So there is a function for the button called interacted with event, and this is a listable uh, function that sends the agent. So I'll add the button when interacted with event, and this will subscribe because it's a listenable function to another function that I'll name increase coins. So I'll name uh, this function increase coins. And then inside these, um, what are they called? The uh, the brackets. You'll uh, pass the agent because it sends the agent through. And you have to do this. So first, the name of this uh, variable. This will be agent, and the type is agent. Then it's a void function because it doesn't return anything. Then to get the uh, value of the coins, you'll need to add an if statement because it's a valuable expression. So if uh, current coins is the coins but cat value agent, this needs to be in square brackets. Then the coins but set value, which will be the new one for agents will be current coin, change this to s. Oh, this also needs to be an if statement. So what you can do is just change this to one big if statement. So I'll add another editable increase. This will be an integer and I'll automatically set it to 10, but you can change it in the first device here. And it will be the agent current coins plus the increase. So you can add your own functions for your uh, stack creator. And you can use any of these to set the value for the team. If you use a team in here, so scope will set to team. You can change it for each team. And if you want to set it for the match, then you'll select match here and then you'll need to set it to set value for match. So if you have a player count, for example, you can use the set value for match to display it on your screen. So I'll build this and then you'll have this currency changer coins. This will automatically select the stack creator. So this is the only stack creator that I have and button. I don't have a button yet, so I'll just go in Fortnite, add a button. Put it here. Figure something. No, I don't need that. Uh, this doesn't matter. Button, just select this button. Now I'll increase it to 50. 
Then in your widget blueprint, there are still some things you need to do to make it actually say the number uh, from the stack creator. So if you go into view bindings, it'll say that you need a view model that widgets can bind to. You want to select add view model. And we're going to use the stack creator, so I'll use the stat view model. Like this. I'll wait if I can just show the view bindings here. Yes, that's better. Then for this, uh, you want to select the text block and then add the widget text block. Set it to text because it displays text value. Then if you try to um, select the value, so this will be the player's value that will get displayed here and you try to compile it, it will give an error because this is a integer and you cannot uh, display the integer as a text. So what you'll need to do is go to the conversion functions and select to text from integer. Click this uh, magnet and to bind it. Then go into the stack creator and select the value. So if you want to add a little animation here, you can also do that. And then you'll need to check for uh, if the stat value is bigger than zero. Play the animation, use play animation. And then you can uh, add an animation here that like displays a plus or something. So, but I'll not show that for this tutorial. And then this should be done. Go to compile. Oh, I'll remove this. Yes, compile. Then you'll be able to save. Make sure this actually shows your coins blueprint. And then you can launch a session. So I just moved the widget a bit, I moved it to the left of my screen, but this will be the end result. And you can uh, use multiple widgets and also place them wherever you want on the screen. But if you're looking for more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you really want this texture, I'll post it to the Discord, but I'll suggest using your own textures.